All right. B taste test questions. All right. You're going to need to know about troubleshooting. Now, one of the things to know about the B section is that the B and the C are very similar. Um, they're a little bit less subject wise, but other than that, they're similar. So make sure you know these if you're going in for your C test because some of them might be on there. Okay. Troubleshooting pump damage. Okay. It's going to give you a bunch of different things. Probably going to be because you're too tight of a packing gland, something like that. Remember, you want to have a little drip once in a while. Drip, 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 drip. All right. Grains per gallon math. We talked about on the C, 17.1. It's at the top of the um, formula sheet. Okay. All right. Your mixing speed. If your flock is breaking up, your speed is too high. Right? You want popcorn shaped, like floating flocks that slowly clumps together. And if you're going, it's, a, I just, it's like reverse chocolate milk. That's all it is. You're trying to make it go back to milk. Okay? Jar tests indicate the 80% settling. Right? This is a question that is on the original um, test. Right? So C test. Um, but it's also on the B test. Okay? And your flock's too heavy. So what are you going to do? You're going to reduce your polymer your coagulant okay if you have white film on the inside of an iron pipe why scale forming right scale forming it's calcium carbonate something like that um, your corrosion causes tds total dissolved solids and do the most corrosive component of a distribution system or in your plant langler index that's going to give you a Langley index of plus 1.2, 1 1.3. What will this water be? Is it corrosive, scale forming? Okay. Make sure you know how to, if you can calculate the Langley index, then all you have to do is look at it. Okay. Don't leave the sample lid on a surface while taking a sample. We already went over that, but you need to go over it again. Which of these statements is correct? does not affect pH. There's probably a question about that. Mm. Surface loading rate math. Make sure you know how to do those. Um, percentage backwash. Um, you may see something like a 25 MGD tank. Um, so make sure you know that one threw me off. I don't know why. When I took the B. Um, percent efficiency in RO math. Okay. Make sure you know how to do that. THM formation uh, with higher temperatures. Make sure you know how THMs work, how they interact with organics and the such. Um, if you don't have thiosulfate in the sample, it's going to continue to form, right? DBPs can continue to form. You don't want that because otherwise you'll end up with like a 400 or something. Weird. All right. Water quality versus the objective quality. What do you need to do to achieve process control? right to make it achieve this water to this water so make sure you know your process because if you know your process then it doesn't really matter so make sure you know if it has high tds or something like that it may need ro first mm -hmm. so just think about that it may need something to get rid of that your mcl for chlorides is 250 okay 250 um, how does lime affect ph it makes it go up Disinfection math, you're going to have two of them on MGL, you're going to have two of them on pounds, and you're going to have a breakpoint chlorination chart. Make sure you know how to read charts. It's one thing that doesn't get taught everywhere. Okay. How to remove magnesium, right? So make sure you know how to remove my magnesium. Okay. Don't forget about permanent hardness. Permanent hardness, you got to remove it with soda ash, right? Okay. Ion question in relation to softening. Okay. What is it made up of? What ions? You need to know that. Um, they're going to show you a little graph with a little flow chart looking thing. Okay. Langley index with what value? Uh, what does it indicate? It's going to indicate uh, corrosive, scale forming, undersaturated, oversaturated. There's one that's positive. There's one that's negative. There's one that's uh, super saturated or oversaturated. So, so remember that because you're going to have like four of those questions. So four questions is a lot. Okay. Um, 
will this water be corrosive? Uh, if it has a high TDS content and a low pH, think about that, right? Alkalinity is the capacity of water to reduce acid, right? So make sure you know that. Time for reporting an MOR. 10 days, that's what it's supposed to be. 15 days is what it says on the test. So don't forget, just don't overthink it. If you have a question that's close to 10 days, you pick 10 days. Not less than 10, but around there, right? If it's 15, you pick 15. Hopefully they fixed it by the time you went. But if not, oh well. Chloramines versus THMs. That's one of the reasons you select chloramines. But sadly, chloramines has their own disinfection byproducts that are not regulated. So they technically produce them. But it's effective against THMs in this purpose. Okay, Chloramines, what's the most effective one versus bacteria? Okay, we have mono, dye, and tri, so don't forget those. Okay, we have a chloramine plant, so it makes it easy. Okay, 20 PSI. If you are, your system pressure is approaching 20 PSI, what do you do before reaching that point? Okay, what do you do? You adjust your high service pumps because you don't want it to go below 20 PSI because that's the minimum pressure, right? RO, if you close the brine valve. You'll get 100% recovery damaging the membrane. Okay, see some of these questions seem very similar to the C. All right, how high will a bed rise to in a backwash at 14 gallons per minute or something like that? Okay, so make sure you understand backwash rise rate. Um, you're gonna have a question about HOCI versus OCI and which one is more potent. So keep it in mind. Okay, what's the effect of adding R, uh, chlorine to an RO system? Okay, you should know that. Jar testing, results, evaluation, process control, right? That's what they can do. It evaluates the process control. Iron is a secondary MCL, and it is 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.3. Gowns to treat. You're going to need to use um, your wonderful math skills at this point. Like I said, should just throw math out of this equation because if people pass with math, then you got a bunch of accounts. All right. Lime slaking produces calcium hydroxide and heat. Okay. UV channel math. You're going to have questions about UV disinfection, right? Lamps. Probably got a lot of questions on lamps, maybe one. A little bit of a channel, channel math, depth of channel and the such. Okay. What's the purpose of screening, removing large solids, fish, sticks, that kind of thing? Okay. Um, gallons added to solution to go from 15% to 5% or 5% to 15% or something like that. Make sure you know um, how to dilute and strengthen the solution. Okay. Um, circumference math from diameter. So they're going to start making you do conversions. Make sure you do your conversions. Um, and you also have conversions at the top. So don't forget. Okay. Um, your permagante dose or permanganate or whatever you want to call it. is uh, make sure you know what the dose is, make sure you know how to do that, okay? Coagulation process is a physical chemical process, right? What's the purpose of baffles? Distribute the flow, okay? You don't want short circuiting, which is going from here to there without going through the process, okay? Air binding, what can cause air binding in filters, okay? Waterborne illnesses, you need to know the definitions, right? Cryptosporidium, giardia, Typhoid, disinfection inactivates. Remember your four log, three log, 99.99, right? Okay. If you have a residual that's dropping, you need to reestablish your residual. Okay. And if you have an unusual drop in an area, and might be cross connection. Okay. Disinfection um, is best with long contact time and high concentration. Okay, um, on the detention math, you need to make sure you remember to do the conversion to million gallons instead of MGD because they're going to give it to you in MGD. 
most likely, okay? Um, the actual amount of chlorine used in uh, feed with a percentage math, how much did you actually use for this period of time? So it makes you know how to do that. Um, why do they use vacuum for chlorinators? Um, obviously another chlorinator troubleshooting if the vacuum is not properly you know feeding you could have a leak you could have plugged ejector just make sure you know what that is um thm sampling quarterly make sure you know quarterly sampling um non-carbonate hardness um make sure you know that uh the total is greater than alkalinity Right when it does when does when it contains non-carbonate hardness and remember soda ash, caustic soda that's the kind of thing you need to use to get rid of it. Okay, ion exchange capacity is determined by volume and type. Okay, um, and it is capable of producing a zero hardness and if you see zero hardness you don't need to change it. Okay, it's capable of doing that, so you may just monitor and do nothing. Might be a test question. Okay. All right, ion exchange determined by volume and type and how to save on costs in this scenario. They're gonna give you a scenario. Um, in that scenario, remember you guys, if they're having, you're having to do some kind of pH adjustment with lime and all that, so you're gonna probably wanna recarbonate. Um, you can use split treatment for magnesium, right? We talked about that earlier, so magnesium, split treatment, right? Because on traditional lime, is not enough. Um, calcium carbonate forms scale, right? Scale is if you put a coupon in the water and it has less weight at the end, then it's corrosive, right? And if it has more, it's scale forming, okay? Um, so in order to form a film, uh, you're going to need bicarbonate ions, okay? Uh, so make sure you uh, know that. Green sand filter, you need permanganate to be effective, okay? And if you have too much permanganate, you can have pink color in fact, there's some good pictures of uh, pink in the bathrooms and tubs and stuff, so uh, it'll freak people out. It looks like Pepto-Bismol, actually, or like uh, uh, lemonade, so pink lemonade. That's probably the best description, okay? All right, removal of volatile taste and odor-causing substances, degassing. Basically, if you want it to go away and it's volatile, you pass it through air or pass air through it, right? And then it'll go away, all right? Um, fill when your demand is low, when you're doing storage type situations, okay? Scaling salts. Um, you're going to have CaCO3, calcium sulfate. Make sure you know what your scaling salts are. Um, disinfectant power goes up with uh, temperature and the OCI ion present. Or OCL, OCI. I didn't write that down very well. All right, chloramines formed by adding ammonia, creating a combined residual. Minimum combined residual is 0.6, 4.0 is max. Okay. Scale can be removed by muriatic acid, and if you're trying to remove um, something off of a resin or membrane, you can use citric acid. Uh, P, uh, 2T minus P, right? 2T minus P for alkalinity. Don't forget that one. Simple question. They're going to give you a math question and how to determine it. There may be three questions on that, okay? All right. Percentage uh, till it's time to backwash. You got a little math. Um, don't forget head loss is about when it does that, you know. All right. Water quality. How to treat this type of water. Okay, process control question, because you're getting into the higher level licensing, they want to know you know how to do this. Okay, um, what's the effect of lime on pH? It goes up, right? Dangers of fluoride. Now remember, fluoride is ugh, nasty. But anyway, um, dust, right? Dust, dangerous, right? Make sure you know what types of fluoride, uh, fluoride, Acids are being used, like hydrofusilic acid and all that. Makes you know that. Don't even know much, much more about fluoride. Needs to go away. Anyway. Which statement does not apply to fluoride? Okay. And remember, fluoride is still determined on purity. So you get, that's a statement that would not be 
true if you're talking about fluoride is if they say the period doesn't matter, okay? Polymer feed math. Remember, you can use polymers. Um, that's a coagulant, okay? The effect of ferric ion on an ex ion exchange unit. Remember, ferric, ferric will act as a filter. Ion exchange will filter out. It'll act like a filter, strain out that ferric iron, okay? All right, next phase.